evening everybody. So today is week 9 day 4. So certainly cruising through this week. It's a nice short one, being uh, 4 working days at least. Uh, Tomorrow is a quick day as well. It's only 9 till 4.30 as I've got my myotherapist appointment with Guy McGrath at Macmillan Chiropractic after work. And yeah, today's another no video or no GoPro day, but I thought I'd show some of my progress in the run down under uh, virtual online uh, run basically. So I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Uh, it says start date 30th of November and if you see the icon moving around the map now that's basically what I've done over the past few years. Uh, total distance travelled is 4,785 kilometres and <laughs> I got an email today because you can see just here if I zoom in that I've only just crossed the uh, WA, also known as Western Australian border, and they said that I'm one third of the way through my run. And yeah, as you can see, it's a long way to be running around. Uh, WA really is the biggest state to be running through. As you can see, I have to go all that way. I kind of joke about it. I'm like, oh, it's all downhill. Uh, but no, it's not all downhill, it's not that simple. <laughs> so yeah, uh, today, I'll get into today's training. It was 35 minutes of cardio today, so I was lucky enough to start at 9 o'clock today, which means I went for a swim at the pool, as today was a cardio day that wasn't running. <laughs> I guess I could have walked, but I've really been enjoying my swimming lately and each time I go there I seem to be getting faster and faster or uh, actually getting stronger as well. So today I managed to do 30 laps of a 50 metre pool which is nearly one mile. I've kind of been rounding it up and saying one mile to a few people. It makes it sound better. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was happy with that. It was uh, I was doing five laps of the pool and then having a one minute break and then going out for another five laps and I felt like I could keep it going at the end and if it wasn't for wanting to go home and get changed and have a bit more breakfast and go to work, I probably could have easily done at least another 10, 20 laps maybe. Uh, yeah, not sure what else to say. I think one thing else I might show you. I'll just go to my Strava. The biggest thing about all this training, or training for any kind of run, is consistency. So you can kind of see, like, this chart is kind of going by... Uh, distance over the week and you can see here this is May 2017 so if I go back to this one actually I wonder if that's Buffalo Stampede no it doesn't look like it I know there'd have to be a week there somewhere April, May, oh no, it's further. It was in March last year. So yeah, it's a little bit behind, well, behind here somewhere. So you can really see I hit a really low point, like barely even doing 30 kilometer weeks. So if I go to this one, has it gone to it? Looks like it. J West Plod. So really all this training, like I've never really done a training program apart from when I was going for my first Melbourne Marathon and I just really couldn't do it. It was, I was plagued with injuries and 
I don't think at that time I was really listening to my body and yeah <laughs> the most training I did was like 16 k's was my longest run 16 or 30 something like that and it might not have even been that or was it 16 kilometer weeks I don't know I just had really bad knee problems and it was just a real big struggle so I think I've really been enjoying this program as you can see well this one here was I believe this is a 100 kilometer week what does it say 88 k's I did this week and I think that's possibly one of the reasons why I stuffed up so much at roller coaster but other than that there was a lot of mentality at roller coaster like you can see that there um, 21.84 k's that was roller coaster there so you can kind of see a few matched runs so yeah much faster, much slower. Anyway, yeah, 3 hours 22. That's not right. When was morning run? I don't know, I've got two different times on the same day. Anyway, this was like an hour slower than my first loop last year. Bit look before it. If I go back to my profile. January, February, so look at all that very inconsistent training I was just doing what was it so 42k weeks not anywhere near enough, 33 so really the biggest thing is trying to stay con consistent like fair enough I was smashing out the 5k times but you have to stick to what you want to run I was loving the 5k's before roller coaster, and then roller coaster came along and I think it just tore me a new one basically um, yeah didn't enjoy it, it was a struggle from 2k's and yeah but now with this uh, book that I've got you can see from like here onwards so day 7 week 4 So not this one. So really I started around here. So four weeks into the program. And now I'm nine weeks into it. So it's been a good five weeks at least. These program, This program. And you can see the consistency. Like these are this was a recovery week and it was 62.1 k's and this week I've only ran three times and they weren't even long runs and I've already gotten up to 31.9 k's so it'll probably be another 70 to 80 k kilometer week but yeah I think that's the biggest thing trying to stay consistent doing what you can with your training like you can even one thing I've been using for my motivation if I go to my profile here on run down under you've got your stats and this whole time like I had a very slow start to the year like you can see week 4 I had only done 106 k's last year I had done 133 and the year before that 181 so each week I was just trying to catch up once I started my program and you can see week 7 254 no well week 6 that's a better one 151 kilometers versus 210 and 302 week 7 254 versus 261 even here 316 versus 329 
So it wasn't until the tenth week I was able to overtake where I was, and now if I find out where we're up to. So yeah, 675 versus 566, so I'm well ahead of what I was doing last year now. Well, you can see that just with the graph. Whoops, I was just trying to zoom it in. Ah, that's a better understanding for you. So the orange one is the current one that we're in now. You can just see... Yeah, there you go. There's the 103k week. And then 62, 42, 76, 79, 67, 62. And this will bump up. This will be up here somewhere by the end of the week. It's just good to have those challenges. What's this one? 110Ks. I don't remember that one. 2017. That might have been my ultra week. <laughs> I'll break that one day. <laughs> so yeah. So it's a little bit of a boring video. I'm just kind of rambling on a little bit. I've been thinking about a lot of things. And... Yeah just kind of droning on. Tomorrow I'll be doing a 11 kilometer run and one thing I've been realizing is I'm very quickly running out of places to run. I'd like to run out at Newborough tomorrow before work. I'm not sure if I'll have the time. I'd have to get up early to do it. Uh, because I'd like to be done by 8 and then back home, have a shower and all that stuff. Maybe I could get up early. I might do that, which means I'll have to go to bed soon. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, I guess I'm going to leave it at that before I drone on too much longer. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. Aim to have it a little bit more interesting for you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.